Hey guys, what's up? My name is Caitlin. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we're going to be doing an EFT tapping session on self-love. I love this topic because I love helping people love themselves more because when you love yourself, you can reach any of your goals and you just feel so much better as a person and you don't need external validation to make you feel loved. You're like, oh, I am lovable. I love myself and I don't need other people's approval. I'm just gonna do my thing and love myself and it's great. I also wanna say that for the rest of the year, so this is now October, I'm gonna be posting on every Friday for the rest of the year, focusing on healing your relationship with money. I'm gonna be calling it Financial Friday, very excited. And then I'll also be posting every other Monday. Just wanted to let you know my little filming schedule, my posting schedule, I should say. And anyways, if you have no idea what tapping is, you will just tap where I tap and say what I say, it's super duper simple. You just follow along and repeat after me. And we're now gonna get started on the side of the hand. And like I said, I'd like you to repeat after me. I am ready to begin to love myself. I wasn't taught how to do so. And it's actually very profitable when I don't love myself. Because then I get to buy all these things to fix me. When the truth is that there's nothing actually wrong with me. I just wasn't taught how to love myself. It wasn't taught in schools. And maybe my parents were not the best models. And however I feel about loving myself, I choose to honor exactly where I'm at. If for the longest time, I have not loved myself at all, that's okay. If I've only loved myself a little bit, That is also okay. My self-love journey will not look like anyone else's because I am not like anyone else. And I have a past that is also not like anyone else's. And that past has gotten me to where I am today. And a lot of the things from my past has helped determine if I love myself or not. And even though I cannot change the past, I can change my mind about myself. And even if I haven't loved myself before, I can begin today. Maybe self-love is just a skill. A skill that can be learned. However much I do or do not love myself does not define me as a person. Because I'm a good person whether I love myself or not. 
And when I acknowledge that I'm a good person, maybe I can look for more evidence that shows me that I'm worthy of love. Specifically self-love. So even though for the longest time, I may have struggled with self-love, I choose to deeply and completely Honor, accept, and forgive myself. I honor myself right where I'm at. And I choose to know that there's nothing wrong with me. And I can change my mind about myself. And I can build a relationship with myself today. And I'm so worthy of that. All right, take a deep breath in. And let it go. Give yourself a wiggle if that feels good. Okay, how are you feeling? That may have brought up a lot of stuff. I know the topic of self-love, it's like, oh, self-love, self-care, just take bubble baths, just love yourself. It's like, okay, but like a bubble bath isn't actually going to make you love yourself. I mean, it might feel good, but it's not solving the root cause of like the beliefs you have about yourself. So that being said, we're now going to get into several full rounds of tapping. So I'd like you to start on the top of the head and I'd like you to repeat after me. I am ready for a lifestyle change. Self-love might be trending right now, but I want to learn how to love myself as a lifestyle. And that might take some work. Because if it's a skill that can be learned, it might take a lot of practice. So if I'm learning to love myself, maybe I can also remind myself that it's okay if I'm not instantly an expert. It's okay if I sometimes self-sabotage. It's okay if I have a bad day or three. Because I'm human. And unlearning how to hate myself is hard. And honestly, screw anyone who says it's easy. Because I have so many negative beliefs about myself. Negative beliefs that tell me I'm not good enough. Beliefs that tell me there's something wrong with me. Beliefs that tell me I'm not pretty enough or smart enough. And all of these beliefs are bullshit. They are beliefs I have picked up from society, probably in childhood, and they are not the truth of who I am. Because the truth is, 
I am good enough. I am smart enough. I am pretty enough. There is absolutely nothing wrong with me. And maybe I can begin to forgive myself. Because I've been carrying around these beliefs for so long. That they've just been running in the background of my mind. On autopilot. I maybe even forgot that they were there. And I forgive myself. I'm just a cute little human who absorbed all these things at a young age. And I honestly didn't know better. And even though I learned all these things, that are hurtful and not helpful. I am now choosing to unlearn them. Because these beliefs don't make me feel very good about myself. These beliefs are the opposite of self-love. And I don't need them anymore. Maybe self-love is just looking at all of this nonsense I've believed. For such a long time. And deciding that I don't want to believe them anymore. I no longer want to believe the beliefs that make me feel like shit about myself. Because I'm not a shit person. I'm not some burden to society. I'm actually pretty cool. I choose to know it's okay to be human. So even though for the longest time, self-love has not been my strongest quality. I choose to deeply and completely love and accept and forgive myself. I'm on a journey of practicing self-love. I don't have to be an expert, but I'll get better over time. Because I'm worthy of deeply loving myself. I'm worthy of actually liking myself. And I'm deciding today that hating on myself is no longer cool. I'm ready to hype myself up. I'm ready to focus on the things that I do like about myself.
and I'm just ready to practice this whole self-love thing. Maybe that means looking at my beliefs. Maybe that means forgiving some people. Or forgiving myself. But I am so worthy of this whole entire process. And that's the truth. All right. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Okay, how are you feeling? That probably brought up so much stuff. And I want you to know that you're worthy of self-love. Self-love is a practice and we grow up in a society that teaches, that teaches us not to love ourselves. So as an adult, we get to choose to unlearn all the bullcrap and learn better beliefs about ourselves and choose better beliefs about ourselves because we can change our mind. We have that power. So you're so powerful. If you don't want to believe any of those beliefs anymore, you can begin to work on letting them go. Tapping is such a helpful resource and there's lots of other resources out there. I really do love The Emotion Code. It's a book by Dr. Bradley Nelson, and that book has helped me a lot. It teaches you how to use muscle testing and how to release emotions, suck emotions from the body. But yeah, tapping is good too. There's also, honestly, yoga helps me like clear through some emotions. Like I do yoga all the time and just like cry because I store my feelings in my body. But like do things that make you feel good about yourself and hang out with people who make you feel good about yourself. If you're surrounded by people that make you feel crap about yourself, please remove yourself from those circles. There are people out in this world that are gonna love you for you, but you also don't need the exter external validation. But like, if you're trying to love yourself, it's helpful to hang out with people that are going to be supportive of your journey. So with that, thank you for being here, for tapping along with me, for beginning a self-love practice or journey or whatever you want to call it. I'm proud of you because this shit's hard, especially in a society that profits off of us not liking ourselves. So thanks again for being here and I'll catch you in the next video. Okay, bye.